see you in court. Meghan's half-sister sues Duchess over defamation and privacy infringement. Samantha Markle is currently looking into legalities and is hoping to launch an official lawsuit against Meghan Markle in both the US and UK. The Duchess of Sussex had to apologize to the court for forgetting to tell the judge about the emails to ex-communication secretary Jason Knauf after they emerged amid her legal battle with the mail on Sunday. In an email sent to Mr. Knauf, Meghan said her half-sister Samantha had lost custody of all three of her children from different fathers. Fuming Samantha is now planning on suing Meghan for defamation, libel and slander as well as breach of privacy, the Sunday People reports. I'm speaking to one lawyer in England and one in the U.S. as there are different statutory windows and different issues, the 57-year-old told the outlet. I'm looking at suing for defamation in the U.S. In the U.K., I'm looking at a breach of privacy and Data Privacy Act breach because the statutory window for defamation is only one year in the U.K. Jason Knauf is subpoenable in the messages too. him, are evidence she was libeling and slandering me. Anything to keep this family quiet was my sister's motto. It's horrible. Meghan was forced to apologize after a series of emails were disclosed that proved she had collaborated with the authors of a sympathetic biography. She and Harry previously said they had nothing to do with the writing of Finding Freedom, a claim backed up by authors Olmut Scoby and Carolyn Durand. Last year, the Sussexes even released a statement saying they were not interviewed and did not contribute to the book. However, it's now emerged that she authorized Mr. Knauf to speak with Scoby and Durand on her behalf. Among the notes she sent to her former communications secretary were several details about Samantha Markle and her half-brother Thomas Markle Jr. She urged Mr. Knauf to disclose that her siblings had dropped out of high school and that she had never had a relationship with either of them. Samantha, who has not spoken to Meghan since she started dating Prince Harry in 2016, hit out at the royal's grandiose image as she told of her fury and rubbished her half-sister's claims. I've never lost custody of any children. She said I changed my name when she met Harry, but I shared my name changed documents long before, she said. Meanwhile, it's reported senior royals warned Meghan not to pursue her bitter court battle over a leaked letter to her estranged father and feel she has now been found out. The Mail on Sunday newspaper revealed explosive new evidence as it tried to overturn an earlier ruling that it had breached Meghan's privacy and copyright by disclosing details of her letter to Dad Thomas. But the Sunday Times claims family members and one trusted lawyer all advised the Duchess of Sussex, 40, to drop the case, saying they are frustrated by the fallout. A royal source told the newspaper, there is frustration all the way to the top, because a lot of people told them that it was unwise to proceed with the case. Now you have been found out. They, the royal family, will think they should never have taken it to court. The Court of Appeal last week heard submissions by the Mail on Sunday's parent company, Associated Newspapers, calling for an earlier high court ruling to be set aside. Meghan's lawyers oppose the appeal. A ruling is expected at a later date. Meghan Markle's father said she got upset because he was giving too much attention to her brother and sister as he called for them to make up. There are some reasons that she got upset with me, and one was that she thought I was giving too much attention to her brother and sister. They were step, sick brother and stepsister but nonetheless she wanted me to stop talking to them and I couldn't. We're at a point where I think both us, we should grow up, talk, make up for the sake of the children now and for ourselves. This is ridiculous, it's been going on for almost four years. It's crazy and going